Integers are whole numbers, both positive and negative, including zero. Multiplying and dividing integers is another fundamental skill in mathematics that's used in various fields like science, engineering, and finance to solve real life problems. In this lesson, we'll review the rules for multiplying and dividing integers and learn how to apply them to real life problems. To recap, the rules for multiplying and dividing integers are, when multiplying or dividing two numbers with the same sign, the result will be positive. When multiplying or dividing two numbers with different signs, the result will be negative. Now here are some tips for solving real life integer problems rather than just doing basic calculations. Number one, identify the integers involved in the problem. For example, does the problem require you to use positive or negative numbers or both? Number two, determine the operation needed. For example, will it use addition or subtraction, multiplication or division? Number three, apply the appropriate rule based on the operation and the signs of the integers to find out if your answer should be positive or negative. And four, check your answer to make sure it makes sense in the context of the problem. In today's lesson, we'll just be practicing the multiplication and division of integers. Here's a problem we can look at for practice. If the temperature drops two degrees every hour for seven hours, what is the total temperature drop? To solve this problem, we can use the rule that multiplying a negative integer by a positive integer results in a negative integer. We can represent the temperature drop with the negative integer, negative two, since the temperature is decreasing, and we can use positive seven to represent the hours. So we can rewrite the problem as negative two multiplied by positive seven equals. To find the solution, we multiply the two numbers first, ignoring the signs. So we calculate two multiplied by seven equals 14. Then since one of the numbers in the original problem is negative and the other number is positive, we know that our answer is going to be negative. So the final solution is negative two multiplied by positive seven equals negative 14. Therefore, the total temperature drop is 14 degrees. Note that the negative sign indicates that the temperature is decreasing during the seven hours. Let's look at another real life problem for some of the other rules for multiplying and dividing integers. Every time you take the public bus, your bank account decreases by $6. If the total decrease in your bank account is $72 at the end of the month, how many times did you take the bus? To solve this problem, we can use the rule that dividing two integers with the same sign results in a positive integer for our answer. We can represent the total decrease in your bank account with the negative integer, negative 72, since it is money that you spent and no longer have. We can do the same for the cost of each bus trip and use the negative integer, negative six, since you also spend this money each time. So we can rewrite the problem as negative 72 divided by negative six equals. To find the solution, we divide the two numbers first, ignoring the signs. So we calculate 72 divided by six equals 12. Then since both of the numbers in the original problem are negative, we know that our final answer is going to be positive. So the final solution is negative 72 divided by negative six equals positive 12. Therefore, you would have taken the bus 12 times. In conclusion, multiplying and dividing integers is a crucial skill in mathematics that's used in many real life situations. In this lesson, we learned how to use multiplication and division of integers to solve real life problems. We also reviewed the two rules of multiplying and dividing integers. And those are, when multiplying or dividing two numbers with the same sign, the result is positive, and when multiplying or dividing two numbers with different signs, the result is negative. You can now use these rules to practice some calculations with multiplying and dividing integers. Good luck.